Can I watch YouTube videos online and learn how to fight? I don't have a place to hang a heavy bag. Can I still train? There's no martial arts gyms near me. Can I still become a competitive fighter? What's going on guys? Shane here. I'll be answering these questions and more in today's fight tips video. Can I train martial arts if I don't have access to a gym? Let me start off by saying that you will not become a world champion fighter just by watching YouTube videos online. Nothing compares to going into a gym five days a week and training under a coach, sparring with people who are better than you. That's how you're going to improve as a fighter. However, watching videos online can be supplemental to your training and give you an edge over, say, the average Joe who's never thrown a punch in their life. And granted, it was over 10 years ago, but Evan Tanner is the former UFC middleweight champion, and he credited his jiu-jitsu skills to watching old Gracie grappling VHS tapes. So yes, knowledge can be spread, but you have to apply it into your training and correctly. So with the following exercises, I want you to videotape yourself and self-analyze. Be your own coach to make sure that you're not forming bad habits and you're always striving to improve. Let's take a look. I've always preached that the single most important exercise that a fighter can do is shadow boxing, yet people still neglect it. But think about it, it's a great time to practice your footwork, angles, balance, take down defense, take down shots, striking, clinching, and the whole time you're visualizing an opponent, but even more than that, you're envisioning the environment that you'll be fighting in. So this way, when it comes time to actually fight in the arena, it doesn't come as much of a shock. And I think people have problems with it because of the internal visualization, right? You are a little bit limited with shadow boxing because your opponent can't trick you with a strategy. They can't make you flinch with a feint or a fake. And the other reason too is because there's a lack of resistance. When you punch, there's not a kickback into your fist, into your muscles, into your bones, like there is when you're sparring, hitting mitts, or the heavy bag. The heavy bag will always be your meat and potatoes for striking. Practice your punches, kicks, elbows, and knees, and always give yourself a great workout. A common problem that people have is they don't have a place to hang their heavy bag. So a quick fix for that is to just buy a single tie pad and hang it at a fence at your local park. Now you're gonna be limited to the movement and the type of strikes that you can throw. However, it gives you a target and something to hit. And don't forget about all of the calisthenics and solo body weight exercises that you can do. Every fighter will agree that you want to have full control of your body. So I'm talking about push-ups, sit-ups, squats, box jumps, sprints, road work, but even more than that, mobility and flexibility to be able to get your kicks up high or have the mobility in your hips to land and secure a triangle choke. And finally, use video as a tool to study other fighters. The internet is a powerful tool and we can study coaches and fighters from all over the world. So make sure you're utilizing it and also studying the fights when they're live. Of course be entertained, but you also want to learn techniques and strategies from these world-class fighters. To close, I just want to remind you that if you want it bad enough, you can make it happen. I remember being 17, 18 years old and biking 20 plus miles to my MMA gym. From Northeast Philly to Dadis MMA in South Philly. One time my bike got stolen and I had to collect money from people in the gym so that I could take the train home. So again, if there's a will, there's a way. Another option is to just bring people to you. So you could find partners, friends that are willing to train. Of course, do it safely under supervision, but have fun and help each other improve. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.